Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. The biggest burning question right now is, where are your parents? They're finding their shoes! Hey! <laughs> They got here last night. Can you believe it? I can't even believe it. They are here. Now we're doing our traditional going to Desert Star to watch their funny dinner theater. And we're excited because Felix is joining us and he's never been. What? If we get there on what? time. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. They're bragging on me because I took too long to get ready. But somebody stole the hair dryer, the other girl in the house. So. Can I be bundled any more than I already am? I'm going in shorts. <laughs> she wishes. Not with that man cold. Oh, speaking of man cold, guess who else has a cold? My dad, Grampy. Grandma has to. We'll get through it, right? Uh-huh, we will. We will. All right, we're back. We had a load of fun. We went to Walmart. It's been a day. Um, I'm gonna get going on a savory dish to bring to a family Christmas party tonight. And I am using some frozen meatballs, some grape jelly, and some chili sauce. That is it. And I might put a little bit of chili powder in with these two, and a little bit of cornstarch. And these are just gonna heat up in a pot on the stove. And then I'm gonna add them to my slow cooker. It's a little too late for me just to throw them in my slow cooker. I should have thought of this earlier, but I forgot that I had to bring a savory dish besides a dessert for tonight. So, all right, let's get cooking. Okay, I'm just gonna start mixing these ingredients up. And then we'll pour it all over the meatballs. This chili sauce tastes like a spicy ketchup. I'm not even going to measure, I'm just going to sprinkle in some chili powder. These are already pre-cooked meatballs. This is such an easy, yummy recipe. If you look on Pinterest or all recipes and find like appetizer, meatball appetizers, you'll find so many and they're such a great dish to bring to any potluck, especially during the holidays. And we're gonna get them started in here and then I'll transfer them to a slow cooker to take with us and keep plugged in at the party. I was debating whether or not to put cornstarch in, but I think I'll wait. We're gonna let that do its thing. Now I'm gonna make some Christmas crack. I do have a video on this, I'll link it below. So I have some water starting to heat up in this bowl and I'm gonna add some white chocolate chips in here. And we're gonna melt them all up and then we're gonna pour them all over our mixture. And here's what you're gonna need. I'm using Crispix, rice and corn cereal, rice checks, and salty pretzel sticks. <laughs> I guess during the haul I said, Salty barbecue sticks or something? Oh my gosh. And I'm using M&Ms. You can also add peanuts, peanut M&Ms, whatever you'd like. But I'm not doing that today. So, all right, I'm gonna start getting stuff in this big red bowl. My chocolate is doing its thing. And we'll put this together. fit on one because these trays are huge it's just going to spread out on here cool off and harden and then we'll break it up and put it back in a bowl to take with us tonight this is a great snack to make for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day okay oh boy it's bubbling away 
So I'm gonna give this a stir now. Okay, while this is cooking, I'm gonna take you on a Christmas house tour. I haven't shared this with you guys yet, so watch the tour and then come back and we'll finish. Okay, this is our living room, our front room, and this is the tree that we got last year at Walmart, and we put it here in the living room. And it has all the kids' decorations on it. Love it, it's so cute. And then this silver and gold ribbon is from Michael's that I got on Black Friday. So I just cut it in pieces and put it around the tree. So pretty. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, this was a new statue from my mother-in-law. She gives us kids a gift. Uh, a type of nativity gift every year and this is this year's and I love it so oh and that lights up and then I have another the three wise men down below and that's all I got going on in here so I just got a lot of wrapping and things to do I still got to get Derek's work stuff he's gonna try to deliver those tomorrow I already have our Christmas jammies wrapped and under the tree ready to go. We absolutely love this picture with Santa with the baby Christ. Love it. So this is above our village. Look at this you guys. This plant we got at Harmon's and um, they were doing a whole like Grinch Whoville theme there and we had to get one. It's real so we can um, plant it after Christmas. I need to put a little bit of water in there. Isn't that cute? So I did have, I know I showed you guys this on my Hobby Lobby haul. I did have that in the middle and it was the centerpiece. But then when we got the plant, it was like, oh yeah. So, love, love. So this is our village. I have gotten the majority of these pieces from the DI. A lot of you that are new are like, what is the DI? And that's, it's like a Goodwill. So a lot of these pieces are from there. Um, like this one, a lot of these little houses, a lot of the stuff too is from Walmart. This was my newest piece this year, this house um, from Walmart. I just loved it. It's so cute. I mean, you could see inside the house. How adorable. Um, this water feature, this water feature here is also from Walmart. Um, a couple of things are from the Dollar Tree. This was the DI, this was the DI. A lot of them were. I can't remember now which ones are from the DI and which ones aren't. And of course we have Cousin Eddie. I mean, hello. Oh, these candy cane pieces were from the DI as well. New this year's Mrs. Claus over by the reindeer greeting Santa on his way back. And that is our Christmas village. All right, this is the family room. Does it look different? Yes, we got a new couch. We got rid of the Ikea couch. We did like it, it was super comfy, but very hard to keep clean. We would take the, we would spot, we sprayed them, we spot treated them, we took them to the laundromat. It just would not stay clean, and it was driving us crazy, and then really it was quite embarrassing, so. So we got this couch at RC Willie um, for a really good deal. I mean, we really couldn't beat it. We have another seat here, so it fits more. Um, yeah, and it's really comfortable. It's kind of short on Derek's legs when he sits, but he's gotten used to it. I guess you have like a couple of weeks with RC Willie. You can exchange it or whatnot, but it's grown on him. He likes it. I love the color. So again, I kept the buffalo pillows on the couch and then tis the season to be jolly pillow I think I got that pillow last year and I could have gotten that at Taipan I found this cheer pillow and I want to say Hobby Lobby or was it at home no at home I got it from at home and then the other matching pillow with the buffalo checked um, pillow so this is our couch, keeping it simple. It's just so pretty. 
Okay, I'm going to try to show you. It's going to probably cast some shadows, but I put two poinsettias on each end of the shelf here behind the couch. And then I have this card that we got from one of you guys, and I have kept it for the last couple of years since um, you sent it to me. Um, it's from the De Becker family, and it's become part of our holiday decor. I just think it's so adorable. And then I have these candle aubers here that I got from Michaels with a battery operated candle. And this country Christmas sign, I want to say, do I want to say Hobby Lobby? Is that on my Hobby Lobby haul? <laughs> I don't remember. And then I've had this one for a few years. I'm not sure where I got that. So I put those two wooden-y antique signs on the corners. Again, another lamp with the candle and a poinsettia. So we kept that window very simple. Okay, here in the corner near the fireplace, I have the window pane here. The two tall candles are behind it and they light up. Um, the wreath kind of blocks it, but I have nowhere to really put it. So um, again, this is a battery operated wreath. It turns on at a certain time of the day. I don't have to think about it, which is great. So it brings some um, light in, over to this corner as well. I had more of that garland. So this is garland that I want to say I got from Taipan one year. And it's so cute. So I just draped it along the top. That's just the house camera. <laughs> and then these two trees I grabbed from Hop, no, I grabbed from Michaels maybe last year or the year before, I can't remember. And I just put a nativity that we've had forever, the beginning of our marriage right here. So that's that corner. Okay, here's the fireplace. It's pretty self-explanatory, but we've got this garland here that was from Michaels. I want to say last year. Our elf came today. We don't always do the elf. And if the elf does greet our family, the elf is here literally for three days. The advent calendar that we got last year at the Kris Kringle Mart. And then we've just got lots of nativity things here. This cute gnome Denise made for all of us girlfriends a couple years ago. Yes, Paige, isn't it cute? And then we have a stocking for Paige because she'll get some fun stuff for Christmas. The H stocking I found at Smith's uh, years ago. And these stockings were from, oh my gosh. I don't remember, I've had them for years. I don't remember where those came from, but that's our fireplace, you guys. Here is what our big 12 foot tree from Walmart looks like. The garland, the ribbon gets droopy after a while. See, I gotta like fix it, but the, tree skirt is from Hobby Lobby and the ribbon I believe is also from Hobby Lobby. We kept the tree super simple. We have gold balls, cranberry balls, um, more of a faded gold. So they're all golds with reds and cranberries and I got these ornaments at Smith's Marketplace. And then I put some of the snowflake ornaments that we have on this tree as well. So we kept it very simple, not cluttered, because it's such a big tree. That big ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, I kind of used it like the star and put it up top. We got a big ladder that we borrowed from Derek's dad. I put ornaments from where I could reach up there and then Derek did the rest on the ladder. So again, this 12 foot tree is from Walmart. It only costs like around 280 something, 290 something which is an insane price for a very tall tree. It's awesome. I do have Garland going up the stairs. This I found at Walmart. It was the cheapest Garland that I could get. And then I added these cute little clips with like the, is that a poinsettia flower? I'm not sure, or hollyberry. They clip on like a hair clip. I got those at Michael's and gosh, they had them on sale. So like a dollar a package. So I have 
that on there and then I wrap those battery operated lights so they turn on at the same time every night I gotta fix a couple of things have fallen the battery packs but um, so they pop on at night and it just is so pretty so at night it just sparkles so not too bright and it's really beautiful all right the window coming down our stairs um, I kept it very simple. Um, these rod iron garlandy berry things I got at Michael's last year, I want to say on Black Friday, I believe. So I put them on each side of the window. Sorry guys, the lighting is really bad. And then I got two of these deers I want to say at Walgreens one year. And then this wooden Merry Christmas sign. I have two battery operated candles and then i had the hooks from the stocking holders with these stockings so i kept it very simple so upstairs in the hall with this table here i just have this lamp that i got at the di either last year or the year before put a candle in it and then i put some pictures from past christmases in these frames i've had them for a few years now put this runner that I've had forever on with this garland that I want to say I got at Michael's one year and then at the DI I found these Santa Claus figurines and then I looked them up uh, I, I can't remember the name I like googled them and I found where they you know were from and they're normally like around $30 and I got them for 75 cents each oh my gosh so that's that table in the hallway. This cashmere tree I got from Michael's this Black Friday. And then I just have a Merry Christmas wooden sign that I got at a grocery store a few years ago. And these small bulbs are from the Dollar Tree. I got them probably last year or the year before. The ribbon is from Michael's. I got it on Black Friday. And the snowflakes I've had forever. I couldn't even tell you where I got those from. And the Believe and a lot of the Merry Christmas sayings on it and piece I got from the Dollar Tree over the last couple of years. And it's plugged into the laundry room. So now we have this beautiful tree that lights up in the hall. So this is the wreath that we have at the end of the hallway. And it does have lights and they're programmed to come on at a certain time. So later tonight they'll just pop right on and good to go they were i added them onto the suite they didn't come with the wreath and so they're battery lights so i just added them in and this is at the end of the hallway so on our dining room table we just have this vinyl buffalo check tablecloth i've kept it on here because it's just protected the table and it's it's just been easier so in the middle, I have this basket of flowers. Gosh, I've had this for quite a few years now. It was a hand-me-down for my mother-in-law, so a long time. So that is on the kitchen table. Some years it's on the table, some years it's not. And then on the back of the dining room chairs, I have these wreaths. And these I got from Joann's. And, oh my gosh, I got them for 60% off. So maybe maybe five or six dollars each and I just love how beautiful they are with the berries and then the frosted greenery oh it's so pretty so I went and got this rope and tied them on and I put gold in the middle so the middle chairs have gold and the end chairs are red and the bar stools have the gold and I just love how it looks I know I did wreaths on my cabinets um, in the old house and I loved that but this year I decided not to do that to the cabinets and I probably won't I was trying not to make it too cluttered but I'm loving how this looks in the kitchen it just creates such a nice feel I just love it there that one's fixed I just I just think it's so stunning on top of this light I had some more garland it, I think it matches the one that's upstairs on a table and I love how this just is draping over I just think that is so pretty and of course the Merry Christmas Buffalo check mat 
Uh, I put it here by our sliding door when we go in and out with Paige. So that's right here in the kitchen. It goes with the Buffalo check theme that I have in the house right now. So here in the kitchen, I have matching towels with the red truck. I'm obsessed with the red truck. And so I have that just by the dishwasher here. So it ties everything in. I don't have a whole lot in the kitchen. So I have this pine, wooden pine thing here with the, this bowl was a sweet gift from one of you and I love it. So we keep treats in here. This is one of those um, sensational warmers that was a gift from my friend Denise and this stand that I have it on, I got at the DI, so I love that. So I just have a poinsettia by the sink with a mug for Santa and some Santa milk, a jar and a candle, and I just kept it super, super easy. So nothing else. Oh, this was a gift from Heather that she brought to the family Christmas party. That's so sweet, isn't that cute? I'll open this up on Christmas and we'll use it. Uh, on the big island, I just have this big poinsettia. And on the refrigerator, I just have this Merry Christmas towel, which I believe was a gift last year from a friend, so. All right, this big wall here in my kitchen, I put just some garland around the happiness is homemade sign just to bring some pop of red and Christmas into onto this wall and this is a wreath that normally stays there and I just put some berries around it this berry garland I just decided that this wreath will always stay and I'll switch out the flowers and any anything to it just add to it um, during the year so everything could just stay on this wall so I liked how that just tied into the kitchen. So in the mudroom, I have this peace and jingle sign. Couldn't even tell you where I got them. I don't even remember. So I just have them here where you could, you could see them from in the kitchen, which is nice. And then up above, I have some felt mistletoe. So Derek hung that there. So that's been fun. And the last thing in the mudroom is this. I shared this with you on Black Friday, if you watch my Black Friday video. I got all of that except for the garland at Michael's. So I just love the look of that. And we just kept the mudroom super, super simple. All right, I put a little bit of cornstarch with water in the pot to thicken it up. Now we're gonna add it to the crock pot because I just wanna keep it warm. I don't wanna cook them anymore because I don't want them to get rubbery. So I'm just going to put this on warm and then we will be leaving in about an hour and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Uh. All right, keeping it on warm. Okay, here is the crack. Um, it's dry. I'm just going to start breaking it up a bit. Not too much. I like big chunks. Mmm, want some crack? So good. All right, I have my container. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree years ago. So this will come up with us. The meatballs will come with us. All right, and here is a bowl that could stay at home, or I can have this go with my kids. They're gonna go hang out with their cousins, and because uh, we're not too far from our cousin's house for this party, so they're all gonna hang out, so they can also have some Christmas crack. All right, we got our white elephant gifts. Oh, it's down here, Um, And it's your favorite thing, could be anything. Um, so I brought a game and some gummy cinnamon no, bears. Really what did you do? You did some like knife kit. A camping tool set. Uh huh. It's got, well, it stayed within the limit. It's one of the cheap ones, but it's got a hatchet and a pocket knife and Where string. And it's a definite set. guy gift. So my parents Stuff. got a good gift. I'm gonna try to get I'll my dad's gift because it it's a big box of what kind of cookies? Uh, European, European. European cookies. With chocolate and stuff in it. And a lot of European cookies mm. have alcohol in it. 
I'm definitely fighting for that. <laughs> All right, the kids are gonna go play with their cousins. The adults are gonna go party. And we're gonna grab all the food, and we're gonna go head out to the party. I thought they were decorations, but they're not. No, our cousin Shyler um, wraps gifts every year different. He has a different theme, and this year it's felt. <laughs> this is all felt. Look at this. Oh. All felt. It's pretty. Oh, maybe not that one, but it's so cool. Look at that. All felt. Oh my gosh. What a cool idea. Down the chimney at the speed of 